I want to take a look at how we can use Mailvelope to send and receive um, secure email using public key, private key pairs. So the first thing we're going to do is go to Mailvelope. I'm using Firefox. You can also use Chrome. We'll click on Get Started and then just pick your browser. And I'm going to add it. On Firefox, we need to make sure and check this run in private windows. Uh, I'm not sure if you need to do that on Chrome or not, but if it's there, go ahead and check it. If we come up to our extensions, we should see the Mailvelope extension. And we can pin it if we want so that it's right here. And after I can see the extension, I'm going to click on it. And let's get started. So the first thing I want to do is generate a key, a public key, private key pair. This is going to be the key that I use for my Gmail account um, that I created just for this assignment. So let's generate the key. So let's create the public key, private key pair uh, for this Google account. Uh, so my name in here, throwaway Google account I'm using. I could come under advanced and change the algorithm or the key size or set it to expire. Any of those things I could do if I wanted to. We can leave them alone for this assignment. And then I'll put in a password that will open the public key, private key pairs. And I'm going to upload this to the Mailvelope server. Make sure that's checked and let me generate my keys. And now I can see I've got my name, the email address, and the key ID when it was created, public key, private key pair, things look good there. Next thing I want to do is come to the top here under the Options menu, the General tab. I want to make sure there's a check in front of Sign All Outgoing Messages. Under Security, I want to display the decrypted messages in a separate Mailvelope pop-up. Save it. The security background, I'll change this to a different color and shape. And save it. The Gmail API tab, I want to turn this on. Oh, looks like it was already turned on. I'm going to make sure that's on. Key directories. I just want to make sure use the Mailvelope key server is checked. And it is. So when all those things are done, I can come back to key management. I can expand my keys. And here I can see details about them. I can see the ID. I can see the, uh, the algorithm, the key size. Uh, things like that, I want to synchronize. And this will push it up to the Mailvelope server. After I synchronize it, it will send me an email that I need to verify. Looks like it's sending multiple. I'll verify the most recent. Okay, so I've decrypted it and I can see that it wants a verification. So let me verify it. Okay, so after I've authorized, I'm ready to start sending and receiving emails. So I can come in and use the Mailvelope icon. Uh, it looks like it wants me to authenticate the Gmail API. You allow it to view and send on my behalf. Okay, 
So now let's try again. If I'm starting over and I come and then click them. Yep, now it works. Okay. So I'm going to send this to make sure you put your name in there so I know who to give credit for. Um, and then please give me my secret message. I could choose to sign only, but I don't want to do that. I wanted to um, sign and encrypt. Nothing under options really for me. I could attach a file if I wanted to, but let's click send. It wants the password for this public key, private key pair because it's sending it as me. So it wants to verify that I am who I say I am. Okay, and the email has been sent. So now I can see that the mail has arrived. And if I click into it, I could see the ciphertext underneath here. So nobody's able to decipher what that means. If I click it to decrypt it, it will import the key, the public key from the, uh, the other account from the 319 Mike C. Now it wants the password for my public key, private key pair as the uh, instructor as the BIS 6280 account. So let me put that in there. And I can see the message that was sent. Then I could choose to reply. Okay. And I can get send the message back. Um, it's going to be encrypted and signed when I click send. If you look in my sent mail, you can see it is encrypted. And if you look behind there, you can see it's encrypted. And if I flip back to um, the throwaway account, the 319 Mike C, I can see that the message is here, the reply is here. And if I click into it, it wants to decrypt. It needs the password for this public key, private key for the 319 Mike C. And I can see the reply. So that's a quick example of sending uh, email using public key, private key, where we are encrypting the body and we're also signing the message to prove that it came from us. Now realize that we're using, um, we're not using digital certificates. We're just using public key, private keys. So anyone could really impersonate us in this system. It would be much more secure to use digital certificates.
So now I can see that the mail has arrived. And if I click into it, I could see the ciphertext underneath here. So nobody's able to decipher what that means. If I click it, oh, let me go back. If I click it to decrypt it, it will import the key, the public key from the, uh, the other account from the 319 Mike C. Now it wants the password for my public key, private key pair as the uh, instructor, as the BIS6280 account. So let me put that in there. And I can see the message that was sent. Then I could choose to reply. I would have to go through this account setup again. Give me just a second. Okay. And I can get send the message back. Um, it's going to be encrypted and signed when I click send. If you look in my sent mail, you can see it is encrypted. And if you look behind there, you can see it's encrypted.